Defiance is a science fiction themed persistent world massively multiplayer online third person shooter developed by Tryon Worlds. Defiance takes place on a terraformed Earth several years into the future. It is a tie into the sci fi show of the same name. The game was released in April 2013 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. It was also released on Steam. The game went free to play on June 4, 2014 for PC, August 14, 2014 for PS3 and November 18, 2014 for Xbox 360. Topic: Gameplay. Characters come from one of four origins: veterans, outlaws, machinists, or survivalists. Veterans are a group of soldiers who survived the Pale Wars, a massive conflict between humans and aliens. Outlaws are criminals who raid and destroy for fortunes. Machinists are scavengers, who recover alien technology to make profits and a living from it. Survivalists are humans or aliens who attempt to survive in the newly formed, hostile world. Besides initial starter weapon and also costume, this choice, similar to race human, irith, and castethan survival, has no consequence in the later game, with all weapons, abilities and costumes being equally accessible to all players beyond the tutorial area. Players can choose to be either a human or an irith, a humanoid alien species who are similar to humans, or the castethan race if they have a particular DLC available. The Ark Hunters are injected with an ego environmental guardian online, a symbiotic, neuromuscular bionetic implant developed by Von Bach Industries, which helps players navigate the Bay Area and gives them access to unique abilities. <laughs> Setting The game takes place in the San Francisco Bay Area, 15 years after the devastating Pale Wars between Earth and a loose alliance of extraterrestrial races known as Votanus Collective. The Vots came to Earth seeking a new home after the destruction of their solar system, unaware that the planet was already inhabited. Friction between the new arrivals and humanity led to war, during which the Votans' terraforming technology was unleashed. The Earth's surface was drastically altered as a result, introducing radical changes in topography, the extinction of plant and animal species, and the emergence of new species. Afterward, humans and Votans were forced to live together. Player characters are enlisted as Ark Hunters by industrialist Karl von Bach to search the Bay Area for advanced and expensive alien technology. Players also take part in side missions to earn cash or challenges in which they compete with other Ark Hunters. Development Defiance had been in development since August 2008. It started as a collaborative effort between Tryon and Sci-Fi to make a video game that ran alongside a television series. The publisher has reportedly spent more than $70 million during development. The game's business model was changed from a paid game to a free-to-play game on May 1, 2014 so as to introduce the game to a broader audience. Tryon Worlds also added that they would consider the possibility of developing a port for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One once the consoles have a large player base. In October 2015, Sci Fi announced that the Defiance show would be discontinued after the end of its third season, but Tryon Worlds would continue to support the game after the show's cancellation. On March 1, 2016, Tryon announced the Dark Metamorphosis update for the game, which was publicized as Season 4 of Defiance. Topic. Defiance 2050 In December 2017, Tryon Worlds confirmed a PlayStation 4 version of the game is in development. They also stated they had no plans of making a sequel, instead they will continue to update the game with new content. The new version, named Defiance 2050, came out on July 10, 2018 for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. It features the same map, story, missions, NPCs, enemies, sounds, HUD, and other assets from the first game. However, the four classes have been replaced with four new ones, each of which has its own ego power tree. Many of the weapons were also replaced, weapon skills were consolidated, and some other minor tweaks were made. 
Cosmetic items that were purchased for the first game are automatically copied to Defiance 2050, but other items are not, including any items that players won from loot crates that were paid for with cash like the OMEC Respark Energizer V. Player characters cannot be transferred from the first game to the second. Like its predecessor, Defiance 2050 is free to play. Topic. Reception The game received mixed reviews on all platforms according to the review aggregation website Metacritic, and from critics as well. 411 Mania gave the Xbox 360 version a score of 7 out of 10 and called it a good foundation for a console MMO. The Digital Fix similarly gave it 7 out of 10 and said that it settles into its rhythm very nicely and becomes a game that is so easily picked up and played you cannot help but fall for it a little. National Post gave the PlayStation 3 version a score of 6 out of 10, saying that it seems simply to offer yet another big open world filled with weapons to collect and creatures to kill. I won't deny that I've had moments of fun blowing holes in hellbugs over the last week, but it was of a flavorless variety I could have derived from any number of other third-person shooters. The Escapist gave the same console version two and a half stars out of five and called it a middle-of-the-road third-person shooter that never seems to fully capitalize on its alien-filled, post-apocalyptic setting. Digital Spy gave it two stars out of five and said, the potential is there for Defiance to be more than a half-decent console MMO marred by technical problems. Metro UK gave the Xbox 360 version a similar score of four out of ten and said, a mix of low budget, relatively high ambition, and mediocre execution, Defiance is a hard game to hate but an easy one to lose interest in. <laughs>